Welcome to Tamara Research Writing Guides. I'm Elpis, your AI-supported instructor. In this video, we will learn everything you need to write a great persuasive essay. Subscribe now and never miss our essay writing guides. Let's get started by explaining what a persuasive essay is. A persuasive essay is all about taking a strong position and backing it up with solid evidence. Just like a lawyer presenting a case to a jury, your goal is to convince your audience. But how do you write a compelling persuasive essay? We will dive into the key steps, but first let's check out a five-paragraph example. Let's see a five-paragraph example of an informal essay. Our topic for this example is Turkey's accession to the EU, why it could be a perfect fit. This is a great topic idea as it presents a strong argument and can be backed up with convincing points. In the introduction part, we see that the writer started off by giving some background information on Turkey's EU journey. They mention Turkey's location, culture, and history. Then, we see the thesis statement as the second part of the introduction. This is where the writer states their main argument about the topic. In this case, the writer explains why Turkey is a great fit for the European Union. Let's move on with one of the body paragraphs. In the first sentence, which is usually your topic sentence, the writer explains the potential benefits of Turkey to the European Union. In the second sentence, we see an argument that Turkey would be a strategic ally for the Union. Lastly, the paragraph ends with the previous roles of Turkey in global politics to back up all the points made in the paragraph. You can follow this structure for each of your body paragraphs, so we will now jump to the conclusion. The conclusion is very simple. Basically, you start the paragraph by summarizing all the main points you made in the body paragraphs. Then you follow it with a call to action sentence where you suggest take a specific action. Lastly, you restate your thesis statement by paraphrasing it. Now that we see a full example of a persuasive essay, let's see our step-by-step -step guide. The first step in writing a persuasive essay is choosing a topic. You need a topic that sparks debate, something you can refute or defend. Here are some example topics to help you grasp the concept. Not all great athletes would make a great coach. Today's pop music is not as good as pop music from the past. Keeping animals in zoos and circuses is immoral. These are all great topics as they can be argued or defended. Let's see some tips to help you when you choose the topic. First of all, make sure you choose a topic you know about as it will make the research easier. Also consider the research potential, make sure you can find some evidence. If possible, choose a topic that is appealing and interesting to you. We have our topic in hand, so let's start by creating the outline. The second step is creating an outline. When writing a persuasive essay, do research and find key conversations for your essay. Remember to stick to legit sources while doing so. Then make sure to explore arguments from different perspectives. Use diverse sources so your proof sounds credible. You can follow a simple outline structure in a persuasive essay consisting of an introduction, body, and conclusion paragraph. Let's see an example of a proper outline. As you can see, it has all three main sections, but also the parts in each of the paragraphs. Writing an outline will make essay writing so much easier, so it's a critical step. If you have your outline, let's start the writing process. The introduction will be the first paragraph of your persuasive essay, so it should go from general to specific. Start this paragraph by writing a general sentence about the problem or topic you will talk about. Then, state your thoughts and perspective on the topic, which is called a thesis statement in this case. Finally, make sure to transition to the body paragraphs by guiding the reader through what you will cover in the essay. Let's see an example to make it more clear. We see a persuasive essay introduction about hunting. It starts with a hook sentence to draw the reader's attention. Then, it states both the opposing view and the writer's stance on the subject in one sentence. In the next sentence, we see the thesis statement, where the writer provides their main claim on the ethical concerns about hunting. Lastly, the writer mentions what they will cover in the essay, what we call signposting. Now we are all done with the introduction, let's see how to write the body paragraphs. Time to build up your essay's backbone, 
the body paragraphs. This part is usually about two or three paragraphs, but feel free to change that depending on your essay's length. But don't forget to include the opposing view in one of your body paragraphs. Let's see an example to see how it's structured. In the example, the writer starts the topic sentence by mentioning the opposing view because the following sentences will include counterarguments. Then we see the writer's counterargument. They now try to convince the reader with their opinion on the subject. In the last sentence, the writer directly addresses the opposing view and refuses it by stating a fact or negative effect. You can follow the same structure for the remaining body paragraphs but remember to address the opposing opinion to make your essay more credible and convincing. Now let's close out this essay by writing our conclusion. You can follow a three-part conclusion for most essay types, including persuasive essays. It's simple, restate your thesis statement instead of mentioning everything again, just state your main point in a different manner. Then summarize the key points in a single sentence without going into detail. Finally, end it with a closing sentence where you write your final comment. Let's see this in an example. As you can see, the writer paraphrased the thesis statement and kept it short. Then we see a summary of the key points and the writer mentions why hunting is a bad thing. Lastly, the writer used a call to action sentence as their final comment on the subject. So we are all done with the writing but hang on, we have one final step, proofreading our essay. Proofreading your essay is essential to catching your mistakes and finalizing the draft. But before proofreading, take a break or leave it for a couple of days to grasp the subject. When proofreading, ask yourself these questions. Do I have a strong opinion on the subject? And did I use evidence, facts, or data? Have I provided counterarguments and refuted them successfully? Is there any grammar or spelling mistakes? Is my conclusion convincing enough to promote the reader to think again and act? If you have all these covered, then congratulations. You have yourself a well-written persuasive essay. That's all for today. To continue watching our essay writing guides, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Elpies from Tamara Research, and I'll see you in the next video.